In this video, we are going to be starting to write our library methods that we have not written so far to leverage the power of the REST Assured extension v2 library that we are writing all these days. So before doing that, the first thing I'm going to do is I also need to document the actual constructors or the methods that I'm writing. So the easiest way of doing the documentation in IntelliJ is you put a slash and two asterisk and press enter so you can see that it automatically generates things for you. So you can tell in here that this rest assured extension v2 uh, constructor to pass the initial settings for the following method. So you can set the parameters or params for the UI method and token in here. And similarly you can do the same thing for the execute API method as well. So execute API to execute the API for get, post, delete and as of now these are the only three supported commands but you can keep changing that. And the return type is actually uh, of response options of the response, right? So you can do that as well. And similarly, uh, this is the authenticate method. So you can add the authenticate option as well. Authenticate to get the token variable. Returns string token. All right, so now everything is good. Our methods are getting developed right now and it's very, very easy and handy to visualize as well. All right, as that said, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write a method for the operation that we are doing, which is nothing but the get operation for the path param that we wrote in our earlier videos. So as you can see in our earlier video, we actually use this one, the response of the get query with path param, and then we pass the URL, uh, and then we did all these things like three parameters to perform this operation. So instead of doing that, as it was commented in our earlier video. I'm just going to leave this guy as it is. And I'm going to uncomment this particular video uh, method. And over here, I'm going to write this particular method, which is going to be the execute with query params, which doesn't really exist uh, in this particular rest assured extension v2. So I'm going to come all the way over here. I'm write the method something like this. Execute with query params. So the executive query param is going to be executing API with query params being passed as the input of it. And it returns as the response basically. So this is going to be execute with query params. That's it. So this is the only change which I'm going to be making. And you can see that our code is now all good to go. So you can see, we wrote the authentication. We also wrote uh, the get operation. The last one is going to be to see if my address is going to be uh, the correct address or not. So this is the only last thing that we need to be doing. Again, for this particular operation, you can see that we are using the response. And now this comes another thing. So since it is going to be giving us a response, we somehow need to return the response as usual from our execute with query param method. Only then we can actually get the response and we can do this kind of operation. So this is going to remain exactly the same thing as of now, but we are going to be improving this as well using contest injections or dependency injection to remove these statics so that we don't really have to deal with the statics anyways and the code is going to look even more better than what it is right now. But as of now, just believe me, this is how the code is going to look like uh, and we are going to be moving forward from here. So now that our code is pretty much ready and now if I try to execute this particular code, this should execute the whole scenario should execute without any problem. So let's see the console uh, and let's see what's going to basically happen. So it's executing the scenario and it has got completed successfully. You can see that the authentication happened and also the get location of ID is equal to one has happened. And that's why we could able to see that it is a first street, which is pretty cool. So that's it guys. This is how we can write the execute with query params method within our library to perform the operation. 
And now you can ask me that what happened to uh, the execute with a path param that we wrote earlier in our video. So if you could see in here, we have a get with path param. We don't really have to worry about the get, get delete our post. We only have to worry about the path param here. So I'm just going to copy this method. I'm just going to paste it over here. So execute with path param. Just change that and we're pretty good to go. And similarly, I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to paste it over here. Uh, so this is going to be at path params. And instead of uh, this one, you can see that we have some method with body and path param in it. So I'm just going to have both of them, which is going to be the path param and the body. I'm just going to copy this uh, and I'm going to paste it over here. So there is the path param and the body. So it's going to be add path param of the path param and we also need to have a body of that so builder dot set body it's not add body it's set body and then you're going to set the body over here so we now have a body and then we have a path param and then this will execute so execute with path params and body and let's change this to path param hold this over here so these are the other methods that we have as well for this particular operation so this is execute with path param and this is going to be execute path param and the body param which is pretty cool so now we have our uh, rest assured extension v2 library much more sophisticated than our rest assured extension library uh, which we wrote in our earlier videos so we can probably get rid of this particular uh, class file completely instead of really having this in over here because there is no use of having this particular class we probably need to delete this completely but again i can leave this up to you because you can refactor this by completely removing this particular code but I still want to keep this within our GitHub repo so that you can have this as a reference instead of having the surprise code that I could able to uh, show you for the extension V2. So students like you who is going to start from the basic of the video, if you are seeing that particular class file is completely missing from the GitHub repo, probably it's going to be a surprise. So I'm just going to hold this particular rest assured extension V2 library as a separate Java file and the old rest assured extension java file as it is so that the old code will still work without any problem but just that you can see this as a cross reference for the uh, upcoming or the upgraded library for your education purpose in our next video we'll see how we can improve this coding in bdd by using contest injection and writing the code instead of having all these static variables over here uh, and making use of a much more easier to read code and maintainable code in much easier fashion thank you